Hey everyone, this is Lizzie, and this is my forensic crime scene. Um, I'm going to walk you through all of the um, methods of analyzing a crime scene, taking pictures, um, taking notes, recording evidence. Um, so I hope you enjoy my staged crime scene, and I hope that it makes sense. As a forensic investigator, the first thing I'm going to do upon entering a crime scene is to observe and describe my surroundings. So what I'm seeing is a bed next to a bedside table with a lamp, um, a little chair, stool, a dresser drawer, another chair with some pictures hanging above it, a door, another little table, another door, light switch, another dresser drawer with a mirror and a lamp and some common like household items another door, a closet, and back to the bed with another bedside table on the side of it. Once I'm comfortable with the surroundings of the crime scene, I'm going to establish the crime scene perimeter so that the boundaries of the crime scene can be determined, and I'm going to rope or tape off the area to make sure that the crime scene is secure to ensure that it is not tampered with or affected in any way. I'm also going to make sure that any unneeded individuals are excluded from the crime scene to prevent any possible contamination. So now I'm going to establish which door the perpetrator entered and exit, and it seems as if the perpetrator entered from the front door, which was just shown, and walked through the living room into the bedroom, as you can see. He then went to the bed where the victim is lying. You can't really see, but that's where the victim would be. As a forensic investigator, the next thing I'm going to do is perform a very thorough walkthrough to look for any possible evidence. This could include make, looking at the entry and exit um, of the perpetrator, um, looking at the body, looking for any physical evidence, um, and just really ruling out what could be evidence and what couldn't. This isn't shown here, but I, I, after I do um, kind of a walkthrough looking for evidence, I'm also going to take um, general pictures of the crime scene just so you can get really the entire picture of it before I zero in on specific pieces of evidence. So after I've taken some photos of um, the general crime scene, I'm going to zero, really zero in on the body and take um, any photographs um, as much as possible, getting, you know, different angles, um, different views, because you never know what could change. Um, your crime scene could change anything, so you always want to be as careful as possible and just record everything you can. Um, you can never have too many pictures, um, you can never have too much because you never know what, Im what important thing could be just lying right within that picture. So, that's what I'm going to do for now. The next thing I'm going to do is take pictures of the perpetrator's possible entry and exit ways. Um, this is important because there could be any physical evidence left behind um, by the perpetrator. Um, you never know. So I'm going to take pictures of, you know, all sides, um, get different views, the door open, the door closed, um, different sides of the room, just to be really thorough um, and make sure that you have everything um, possible so that you're not leaving anything important out. So once I've um, performed a general walkthrough, um, looking at my surroundings and then taking pictures also, um, I'm as well going to write down notes. And this is important um, also because as well as you have pictures, you can't really describe with pictures. You can show things with pictures, but um, taking notes ensures um, just more clarity on um, the crime scene and any physical evidence and so in the notes it's important to write down the time that um, the evidence was recorded so like as you can see there's a little circular object that you know you never know it could be um, a weapon so you just want to write down the time it was recorded um, who recorded it my name um, how and who packaged it so like how did I package it what's my name, is it the same person that reco that recovered it, and also the description of the object. So if I were a forensic investigator and this was my crime scene, um, I'd be very careful and very meticulous 
um, recording everything, taking pictures, really paying attention to the surroundings, and doing um, absolutely everything I can to accurately record um, all of the possible evidence, um, anything that could really help me in the future um, solving the crime, because that is the most important thing. So, that's it.